After a month of zero community transmission, Queensland is facing another coronavirus scare. The youth detention centre at Wacol is in lockdown after a worker tested positive. The woman in her 70s who lives in Bundamba at Ipswich went to work while sick for at least five shifts, prompting urgent testing of hundreds of teenagers in detention as well as staff. Lexi Hamilton-Smith reports. 130 teenagers, the youngest just 13, are in lockdown tonight, shut in their rooms at the city's main youth detention centre at Wacol, while authorities use CCTV to see who the infected woman had been in contact with and when. The advice I have initially is that her contact was limited to only a, a, a very small number of young people. The Ipswich woman is a supervisor in the operations sector who turned up for work while sick. She worked there for five shifts while she was in that um, infectious period. The worker who's in her 70s is in isolation in Ipswich Hospital. While the source of her infection remains a mystery, there's growing anger from prison advocates. But now that COVID is positive in the prison, um, you know, it's actually quite terrifying for us all. Debbie Kilroy from Sisters Inside, who has battled COVID-19 herself, says the lockdown teenagers will be feeling frightened. A prison would be like one of those cruises, like the Ruby Princess, that it will spread very quickly, very rapidly. Mass testing is underway of more than 600 staff and detainees. Well, staff are very concerned both for themselves, their families and for uh, the young people. Um, clearly this is a deeply stressful time. Authorities are worried the prison worker may have come into contact with those two Logan women who went to a Victorian hotspot, then skipped quarantine. You might remember they roamed around for eight days while infectious, visiting cafes and bars in Ipswich, Brisbane and Logan. Authorities are scrambling to track down all possible contacts in the hope they can rule that link out. In the second scare, this cafe at Greenslopes has shut down after a woman tested positive to the virus. She had flown in from Japan to Sydney in mid-July, then quarantined for two weeks, testing negative twice. Then on August the 1st, she flew Sydney-Brisbane on Virgin Flight VA962 to spend time with her sick father, visiting the jam pantry last Sunday. We just try to make sure all of staff are safe, make sure nobody get virus. No one knew the woman was infectious until she boarded a flight back to Tokyo and tested positive on arrival. Let's go live to Wacol and reporter Lexi Hamilton-Smith. Lexi, what's the latest? Well, Matt, there's been a lot of workers here in full PPE, cleaning, disinfecting the buildings behind me. We know that process can take up to a week. We're being told the lockdown here could actually be two weeks while they go through that massive process of testing some 130 young detainees and that 500 staff. A lot of the staff are contract workers, uh, shift workers, so some of them are saying via social media that they're not really aware what's going on. There's a bit of confusion about who needs to be tested or should they come to work or not come to work. Queensland Health too has only just released an updated statement where they've now made it clear that the woman who has COVID didn't travel overseas or interstate so the source of her infection is still a mystery but we do know now that they are looking at a potential link to those Logan women and possibly someone inside, one of the young detainees that maybe they had crossed paths or met before that person was put into this detention centre. We have also, Matt, been contacted by a family member of the woman. Look, some of the commentary today, even the Premier was quite strong saying, today you're going to hear a story about a woman who went to work who was sick, basically inferring she did the wrong thing. But this family member who's quite upset has made it clear that the woman uh, had no symptoms early on. She had a headache only on the day before. She had no fever, no respiratory uh, issues and no uh, idea that she may be infected with COVID. The person said, please be a little bit compassionate. She is in hospital uh, recovering from this dreadful virus at this point. And, you know, as we've said, it's a mystery. No one knows how this community transmission has occurred. At this point, though, as a precaution, authorities have shut down visits by family members 
and community members to all jails in the South East. Interestingly, they also had done that here during that Logan scare and only allowed visitors back again on Monday. And of course, now they're banned again. But look, authorities at this point are urging anyone in this area, if they're feeling sick, to get tested. They've ramped up the fever clinics clinics at the Ipswich Hospital. They'll run now between 9am and 8pm. So anyone who's feeling sick, go and get tested. And as far finally as the Japanese case goes, Matt, we have no confirmation of negative or positive outcomes yet for those six people who are in quarantine. So certainly, Matt, tonight, Queensland is fighting COVID on two fronts. All right, Lexi, thank you. Lexi Hamilton-Smith at Wacol.